So these are the <laughs> omiyages for James for being so nice. It's been a good two weeks, honestly, with this. And the lineup he has right now. Holy. Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Holy. I mean, James is absolutely sending it. These aren't even his entire fleet. The GDB is here. The FK8 is here. The DC5 is going to retire, uh, unfortunately. There's a new BRZ. There's a new S2000 Type S AP2. <sighs> this is a pretty sad story, which I'll explain later. Or I already did explain, but I might explain again later as well. But... Oh, it's there. There it is. Oh, the GDB is here. Next <笑> <笑>真的不好意思你上次來的時候真的比較忙我沒有真的沒有我現在就開始車還回來了 this is like kind of behind the scenes of filming Lewis is trying to move the DC5 back here so this is the complete fleet James is still adding pretty much new cars to his fleet but the DC5 is retiring and we just want to swap places so it looks a little bit better this shot looks so nice honestly it's crazy you're already filming yeah yeah I'm already filming I hope so do we do real talk now or we kind of still are in the <clears throat> story environment um we what? just because I want to put the audience into into context like yeah. why we're here and because we cut into the shot and now it's on a fucking yeah but I mean because now the, the shot this shot is before this this shot is after y yeah, yeah 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 so I after like this shot, this it's good shot to see you again man so I just mean it's obvious that my car is not now here you know what I mean yeah yeah, yeah. so the illusion pops now yeah, the, it goes boom, and then we sort of explain what's going on. Okay, no. okay, so it's more real talk. -ish. Yeah, more real talk, but again, I just have to double check yeah, yeah, yeah. that it's recording. Okay, it is, it is recording. Okay. 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 Behind the scenes, guys. Behind the scenes? No, actually not behind the scenes. In front of the scene. In guys. front of the scene, in front of the video. Let's address the elephant in the room. <laughs> We are both back in Japan. Louis, back in Japan. Your boy. Hi. Your boy. Back never in left. Japan. <laughs> never left. Felt like I never left. So, Louis, do you want to explain what's going on with this crocker what's right going here? On with this crocker? And what's with the helmet? The helmet. So, this crocker and this helmet are the things we actually used because we were able and allowed to join the track day that James organized for his customers. And yeah, I think we already explained one time this is actually James' personal car and we were allowed to, to send it on the track actually and it was super amazing. The turbo is huge, the turbo is loud. The turbo is loud. Driving this thing is too much fun to be honest. Actually that's also my personal, like for real for real, that's my personal dream JDM kind of. As I think if I could choose anything I would go for this but maybe the blob eye, not the hawk eye. This car is absolutely amazing. This again, as Lewis said, this is James's actual car. So it's not a part of the rental of the fleet. Rental fleet yeah. He For, yeah. was kind enough to lend me his actual car to go on a track day that he organizes. So James and NRT rent a car, they organize a track day now more or less three to four times per year. Anyone with an international driver's license can come and join using his rental car fleet, which I think is an absolutely amazing experience if you're a car enthusiast and you want to properly go crazy yeah. on a track. 
I mean, that's really cool. That's also like the specialty about this shop. Yeah. It's supposed for sporty driving. Yeah. Like he even lets you drive on a track, which is not the best for the, for the rental value cars. depreciation yeah. and the rental cars themselves, but it's just about the passion. And I think that's pretty cool. And yeah, I was on a track with this. In the beginning, it was more difficult than I expected. Yeah. Like, it sounds, sounds stupid, but if you're into racing, you watch a lot of Formula, Formula One, F1, you maybe play some video games, you know how, how to take a curve theoretically and everything. Yeah. And you can use this knowledge to a certain extent, but it won't translate into like the perfect round. I mean, it's obvious, but first I was a little bit disappointed of myself. But in the end, if I got more used to the car and the grip level, it was so much fun. And I set one round time where I was pretty happy with. As a beginner, it was my first track time. And it was, it was such a crazy day. <laughs> That's all I can say. It was super, super insane. But the more funny story that I want to tell is, how did we beat up <laughs> the first day? <laughs> you mean with the bus or what? With the bus. Of okay. course with the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I arrived on Japan on the 15th of January, and that's when I got the car from James. Got this exact car, I'll be honest. Very, very bad. Got off the plane, hopped straight into this madness. It's a madness. It's a proper madness. So I got the car. Yeah. I was planning, well, we planned to meet up on the 15th at around 9 to 10 p.m. That's when Lewis's flight is supposed to arrive. So Lewis, you can fill in the rest of what happened. Yeah. To make it quick, my flight got cancelled <laughs> um, at like 6 p.m. was supposed to take off at 9. So within three hours, I had to find an alternative to get from Akita to Tokyo. Shinkansen, way too expensive, other flights, not in Akita. <laughs> um, yeah, only option was taking the bus, the night bus. Well, oh, I hate going by bus. It's I can never sleep on the bus. I can't sleep on the plane. I can't sleep anywhere. <laughs> um, so I sent it with the night bus from 10 to, it was supposed to arrive at 6.32. 6.27. 6.27, good enough. I remember the time so, so well. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> I slept solid two hours at max. Then <laughs> um, I had discussions with the bus driver if he can let me off earlier at the gas station because he drove right into Tokyo. The track is in the east of Tokyo, so the further you get into the city, the more difficult it gets for him to pick me up. Um, first bus driver said, nice, okay, we do it, super happy. <laughs> Second bus driver said, moody uh, this, <laughs> which means not possible, no chance. And my language level, I mean, I could explain him that the first one said yes, the first driver, but I couldn't discuss with him because my Japanese is too poor for that. So I got, <laughs> yeah. Got into the middle of Tokyo, Tokyo Station, got off the bus, two hours of sleep. He parked like six meters next to the bus stop because he knew where it would stop because he took it as well one time. And then he said, okay, I go to the toilet quickly. You get familiar with the car, you drive. It was at Tokyo Station at 7 a.m. or something. Like the bus was obviously late. It was even later, it was 7.30. Yeah, yeah, it was 7.30. We were supposed to hit the yeah. track at 8. Yep. So if Lewis arrived dead on time, 6.27, then we would have made it to the track exactly at 8, with no time to spare. At 7.57, actually. Okay, yeah, 7.57. <laughs> so three we minutes to three spare. Minutes. Yeah. To spare. Long story short, Lewis's flight got cancelled. His bus was delayed for an hour. He got off the bus at 7 in the morning with two hours of sleep jumped into this thing immediately after getting <laughs> off the bus and sent it full send on the track in about two hours time. <laughs> and it was a Tokyo station. <laughs> and in Germany, we drive on the right side, right? Here it's on the left side. I mean, I've driven thousands of kilometers here already, but this time being in Japan again, it was the first time to drive. And with two hours of sleep? With two hours of sleep at Tokyo Station, five or six lanes in a with car this with, crocker. <laughs> in a car with 400 mad. horsepower. Pretty <laughs> solid, I would say. Pretty, pretty solid wake-up call. Never honestly. driven the car, don't know the clutch. was interesting, but it worked. It worked pretty well. Works we so made well. it to the track in 90 minutes, more or less. More or less. We were and then we sent it straight for six hours. For six hours, more or less, until yeah. 4 p.m. Yeah. 
holy shit. You can imagine how dead. In, in the evening, I was also sick then, actually. Yeah, this yeah. was the day I turned sick. And also. I turned sick the next day. Yeah, Bas uh, not because of me, that's, yeah. But I would say, <laughs> it's 100% worth it. <laughs> okay, <right>, Louis. <laughs> so, I just talked to James. Yep. He gave us a very important mission to take his car out to go and film. So, oh, sounds good, yeah. So, pretty tempting. He said we can pick any car we want. Okay. A good basis. A good start. <laughs> a good start, yeah. Good start. So, shall we go and have a tour? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, first option, Lewis, we have the Subaru Impreza GRB STI from 2009, nice. rocking four wheel drive and has 308 horsepower. But the official figures aren't really true because James has a very high tendency to <laughs> modding the damn thing. <laughs> yeah, tendency goes up for the horsepower in general, but we will just say the stock horsepower for the cars now. It's a very practical, practical car yeah. because five doors, hatchback, you know what they say, four doors, more horses. <laughs> so, and also it comes with snow tires. Not all cars come with snow tires, at least for James's car. But this comes with snow tires, so you can drive this all the way up to the snow if you want. Yo. That's why also this thing comes into play. It has a roof box installed. You can rent it from NRT if you want to. If you have snowboards, skis, or if you have a long trip, this comes with a roof box. Not or every car comes fishing. with it. Or you can go fishing. <laughs> you know, not every car comes with it. But for this four-wheel drive, suitable for the snow. If you see the back of the car with these pipes, you know, okay. It might be not a looker looker, but it, it has what, what But it has need. heart. Yeah. It has passion. And... It has drive. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Better than I, than I expected from sitting in the car. Oh, yeah, doctor. Pretty nice, actually. Yeah. It sounds, it sounds wacker on the inside. But, but on the outside, it sounds... On the outside, it's super decent. It's the gasoline like... smell. <laughs> the gasoline smell. We haven't had anything to eat today, so we're just having... <laughs> we're gasoline having gasoline fumes. <laughs> That's our fuel. That's our fuel. Actually, would be interested. I would be interested if you could write in the comments if it's normal that people like the smell of gasoline. Not decent shabby, option. Not too shabby, yeah. It's on my want to drive list for a long time, since yeah. they released it. Um, first, when they released it, I didn't like it. To be honest, same. Especially the back was just too, too much, much for me. Yeah. I like it by now. Don't really know why. It aged. Sort of got <laughs> it over it. Well. <laughs> sort of got over it and be like, yeah, yeah, pretty solid car. The one thing that I love already is that James had to put an eight here on the number plate because it's an FK8. Ha <laughs> <laughs> He's such a funny guy. <laughs> no, but you can. You can uh, customize the numbers on this plate or they just give you a random one. But normally yeah. what he said was, if you like register for it, like a 90% chance you will get the number that you want. Yeah. So that's pretty cool, honestly. So it's like, because it's an FK8, <laughs> XD, so he has an eight here. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Okay. Now we see a lot of spoilers. <laughs> we see a lot of lights and things. And we see two huge exhaust pipes. Yes. But overall still, the whole thing, I like the whole thing, definitely, yeah. Overall, a very decent option, and because it's a hatchback, I wonder if I can open the boot. Oh, that's pretty huge. Has an enormous trunk. The next, it's for real the first time I see the boot now. It's fucking huge. There's also this little thing, which I don't know what's it for, but it's here. I think it's if you want to sleep here, then it's for the sun protection. <laughs> uh -huh, it's the, oh no, like, I think it's really for the sun. Like, if you put something here, then... It blocks out the sun. Could be. But it's a very big boot because of the hatchback. That's why it's a very decent selection, I would say. Yeah, as you can see. You can fit one Louis <clears throat> easily. You can fit one Louis in there easily with room to spare. Even two Louis. Yeah, maybe two Louis. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll see if I can. Ah, wanna join? Oh, shit. <laughs> Not too shabby. Not too shabby. <laughs> Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Yeah. Yeah, like if we ever get kidnapped, then... It's pretty big. Can you fold the seats? Probably yes. Yes, you can. Yeah, then then you can really fit like, I don't know, six huge suitcases or something. Yeah. Do you want to try folding your seats down? 
Just yeah, because. We can. Yep. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Wait. Let's see for a little. <clears throat> All right. Opa. Again, like super, super practical car. You can fit absolutely everything in. No joke? No joke. No, if you put some luggage, you could sleep we with two sleep people in, in this thing. You can sleep in here. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. I'm surprised right now, yeah. I'm actually pretty impressed. Lewis, you know that this car is becoming a staple of my <laughs> channel. You know yep. that, right? Yeah, we have many memories with this car family of GT, GR, and AE. The 86 <laughs> and AE, yeah, you, if you have. Like, we know the car by heart, I would we say. We know the car by heart now. However, to walk you quickly through it, the front is pretty stock right it's stock it's stock. only you have some you have some some nice carbon elements here? behind the logo the stickers but yeah the front as James. stock as it is it looks yep james high. changed out the headlights but yep. they're also stock yeah from toyota i mean from subaru <laughs> subaru <Yeah. laughs> um the rim's pretty decent Black rims, white car, always nice. Advent rims, I think they are 17 inches. Yeah. Yeah, compared to the other cars, a little bit smaller, the rims. It's a very popular rental car. James also said it's one of the most rented, uh, one of the most rented manual sports cars that he has. It makes sense. Again, it's been here since the beginning of his business and it completely makes sense. Yeah, like with the history of the car, whoever's into Japanese cars yep. and or anime, the 86 or Hachidoku, yeah, it has the proper JDM vibe, I yeah. would say. Also very budget friendly, it's on the cheaper end yeah. of sports cars. And you get the full JDM experience if you... And you get it. the rear wheel. What you directly see? HKS. <laughs> HKS exhaust, um, has the Tom headlights, sorry, yeah. has the Tom rear lights, has a small... Small spoiler. Small spoiler, you can probably put like... A burger on here and a drink. <laughs> S2000. S2000 AP2 Type S. <laughs> the rims are insane on this thing. The white also looks super good. But this is not one of our option lists yet, unfortunately, because the car hasn't been registered for yeah. a rental and insurance problems. We don't want James to have so much of a hassle. So. But right. a very potential car that we might be looking to rent sometime in the future, let's say. Yeah. You like it a lot, right? I like it a lot. The handbrake is on this side. Yeah. For some reason, maybe so I can yoink it while you drive. <laughs> I love it. I love how simple everything is. I can't wait. And you actually, have a go with it. you have headroom. You have plenty of headroom. It actually. looks so flat, but you have quite a lot of headroom. And you sit also low key high for the. General for the car itself, for the you car sit itself kind, of sit high, kind of high, and you can kind of see like a lot. So if you guys aren't <laughs> up to date with the vlogs, you know that I've driven this exact car back in October. I drove it to the track. I drove it back up to Akita, to my university. I would wholeheartedly pick this car over any car for the trip that me and Lewis will be doing. Yeah. But, Same. <laughs> but the sad news is that uh, last month, uh, a customer was driving this car and it just suddenly died. It, like, it suddenly died on the highway and according to James, it has something to do with the oil sealant, which is a common problem known on this car and it wouldn't turn on. It wouldn't even turn on now, so this car has been sitting here for the past couple of weeks. Yep. So it's definitely a very, very sad story. Lewis high key wants to go in it. Yep, it's completely, it's obviously completely modded out. Um, exterior, like, exterior, exterior, yeah, exterior. like all the aero parts here are obviously not stock. 
It has um, Tom's Arrows kit. It has yep. the TRD Toyota Racing Development sticker. <laughs> the sticker. It has the Tom's side cool. skirt. has a Max Arito sticker on it. has the Ray 57 grams wheels. The yep. bag has Especially so many stickers on it. These Kroger's here look so dope. has the Sard wing. has the Sard tail lights. The lights the, are amazing. has the GR Sports exhaust option on it. has yep. these crazy looking stickers on <laughs> i really like it i really really miss driving this thing it's been absolutely absolutely amazing like i really hope james will fix this car actually i would <laughs> hardly come back just to drive this car every single time but <laughs> unfortunately it sits here for now because it's broken yep and we can't even hear it so my heart is also broke yeah we can't even so hear we, the exhaust so we just move on we just move on we to just this move thing on. it's been a good it's, car it's been a good car it's, Oh, yeah, James. Oh. Right here. James is absolute legend. He's been taking care of my Japan stays ever since I was here. So, I really don't know if I'm going to go to the next day. 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 <laughs> <laughs> He's just casually letting us take his FKA out for a spin. We'll take a walk. Take a walk. Pretty fucking wild. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. Send it. Oh, wait, oh, no, wait, yeah, wait, wait a little bit. Send it. Wait a little bit. Send it. There's like a little bit of wheel hopping on, yeah. on the first. It's pretty <laughs> unexpected, but oh, the ref match was fun. You can send that song. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Not too shabby, eh? Not too shabby, and it's like, and it's comfy. It's comfy. Yeah. Like you're surrounded by by tech. And it's, what is that guy doing? Oh, okay, no, he's turning. <laughs> oh, the wound, the ref match. Yeah, the ref match makes a nice song. This one, that's true. Oh, 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 oh. I think I know what to rent next time, Exu. So you also want to go? Yeah, I kind of want to take it for a spin. And then, like, you can just take the same route. Yeah, I'll take the same route. Maybe I'll come in here, actually. Because it's front wheel drive yeah, as yeah, well, so but, you know, like <clears throat> all of my cars that I drive, like daily yeah, in yeah. Germany, uh, my car and the car of my parents, and all cars are obviously front wheel drive, but you wouldn't have that, <laughs> that grip and that. Oh, that pace. what a fun spin! All right, now Kios gonna kill me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, the clutch is so soft, though. We made a small switcheroo. Um, the clutch is a lot softer than I expected. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very There's no feel friendly to drive. There's literally no feel at all. No, you can even use your, your tool here. Oh, it feels so nice. Like, I don't think I'll stall the car. It doesn't <laughs> feel... Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Man, finally learned how to drive. I finally am <laughs> learning how to drive, guys. So how to drive a manual, to be fair. <laughs> what? How to drive a manual, I say. That's what? 
Huh? That's hard to drive. Manual. No, no. How to drive a manual is what you learned. Yes. The driving itself was never the real problem, right? Yeah, it's manual itself because I'm not really good at driving. He's not used to driving manual. I'm and not then to, uh, driving old manuals and very sporty manuals. It's not a Can't. very good combination. <laughs> it's not a good combination. Lewis drives a manual every single day when he's in Germany, basically, no? Yeah. So for me, I the last time I drove a manual was before the GI86. The last time I drove a manual was back when I was learning how to drive because it's, it's very hard to find a manual car in Hong Kong. And then the first time I came to James, James was like, yeah, just send it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, especially with these kind of cars here, they're not like, I mean, they're sports cars. Some of them are older. Um, it's obviously harder and not very big enough friendly. <laughs> um, but yeah, with the new cars, it's always, <laughs> especially when you have the brake hold. Um, Did I even? I didn't. Yeah, no. I actually, I've never seen like a button because here we have a brake hold button. Normally with the modern cars, at least in Germany, when you have to brake because you're standing at a light or yeah. something, you would it automatically, automatically hold you. It's a shorter route because James is, has to leave soon and we, we just want to have fun, you know what I mean? Like we're just down to have fun. <laughs> oh, the ref matching is so nice. But, you know, sometimes, like, I really love the fact that, like, we don't have all these electronic nannies, so yeah. you properly sort of learn how to drive. Yeah. So, I don't know how to feel about these, honestly. Yeah. Like, for me, of course, like, I can jump in and be like, oh, like, I know how to drive already sort of thing. But then, at the end of the day, if you jump straight back into an older man, then you, you sort of, it, it kind of fucks you up. Yeah. Yeah, it's always both sides, right? I don't know. Sides. I think uh, a healthy mix is always the best. For example, like, I mean, a brake hold, for me now, for example, now I'm super used to drive manual, but for me, a brake hold is really comfortable. Yeah. Because, okay, like, normally I would, I mean, I never it need it. I would never really need it. And in most daily situations the incline isn't that yep, that's crazy deep. but if you really would need it then you need to use the handbrake yep. and then start driving then release it I don't know that's for example something I don't really like it has me. brake hold it has yeah it has. but this shoe is definitely not meant for this car though huh I keep creasing my shoes and I press the clutch down like I keep hitting something with my shoe, like the side of the thing is too big. My feet is too big, you know what they say, As but always. if a big feet means a big dip. Oh, the light just oh, turns to camera. That's like a typical Japan, typical Japan size of a tunnel. <laughs> no. He's sending it. <laughs> oh God. Pretty solid car, honestly. Pretty solid. Yeah, so I bought a ton chair. Oh, I bought a ton of your cigar. Oh, come on. Listen, Dimenton. Bimbo, pa, bimbo. I told him. I'm going to go to 你揸回一百六,離開了。
。可以啊，可以、啊。哦、oh, ，可以啊。Yeah, we can, we can send this. 嚇、huh? ？We can send this. Yes. Oh, so we can keep this? Yeah, until second. Yeah.、Okay. Oh, okay, cool. 咁我哋幫你收埋車翻嚟。好啊，唔該你。介啦呢啲位，依少少。點樣吞啊 ？I want. What's your favorite car? Also, except except your car in the fleet. I think、uh, it's two thousand maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and then next one is、uh, just a little bit confusing actually. Yeah. Could be the BLC because、okay. it is、uh, automatic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 佢係中意部 B 號車嘅，因為方便。啊啊都，自動波得嚟，佢又係一個跑車咁嘅樣，同埋其實踩落佢個波箱都唔係話慢嘅，個反應。嗯。咁棍波始終喺生活上真係比較勁，麻煩。係啊，有陣時即係一路行一路食嘢，一路飲嘢咁。都係都係都係。係啦，嗯，甚至食煙都仲得。都係，揸棍波係咪食唔到煙？麻煩啲咯，唔係得嘅，但係有時冇咁集中咯會。咁同埋即係，嗯，佢有套包圍，始終譬如拍埋個八六嗰度尾，黑色都唔錯。嗯，都我都揸過咯，自己叫做、嗯、即係我咁嘅 feel。嗯，因為都比較新咯，做租車嘅車，誒、呃、比較少故障同埋保險比較平，但係就舊車個感覺好玩啲，舊車多啲嘢壞嘅，同埋冇咁方便嘅。嗯。咁啊，主要就係租車誒、呃、個空間，如果係即係裝唔到太多行李嘅，啲人都係難租嘅。明嘅，明嘅。咁所以即係自己中意嘅，同攞嚟做租車嘅有多少出入出奇嘅。都係。咁耐 S 先就一半一半啦，係嘛？係啊，始終自己香港揸過一年 A P 一，日本揸咗八年 A P two， 咁所以買其實好有信心嘅，因為即係比較熟。嗯。咁同埋揸過，尋晚都。曳嘅都曳過下嘅，都曳下嘛。頭先你都肥過有聲嘅係，有聲啊，真係有聲有聲。陶玲真係靚，陶玲真係。嗯，咁部八六諗住點處理咧？即係部哦，都係搞保險啊，嗰樣嗰啲整整翻好佢咁樣都要。哦，即係都要整嘅，都要整嘅。如果唔係就咁嘅話都。哦，我仲我仲以為你諗住咁樣算咯。哦，咁唔知點樣得嘅處理，但係我即係都諗住整翻。要嘅。哦，即係都仲有機會翻嚟賺。呃、但係攞嚟做租車就應該唔會咯，因為始終問題依然存在。啊，都係。咁即係整完就賣出去？應該係咯。嗯。咁同埋即係入替車輛都係 S 千，咁同佢個性能啊、spec 都比較近。嗯嗯嗯。咁八六我哋有兩架舊款啦，叫做。都係都係。We can directly use this for the next two days, and then we'll help James wash the car as well.、Uh, I better stop filming for a little bit. I just said that for the drive, who is the most popular car? It's not about the problem of the problem, because sometimes the price is cheap. I'll take a car back to my house and take a car back to my house. I'll take a car back to my house. I'll take a car back to my house and take a car back to my house. I'll take a car back to my house and take a car back to my house. I'll take a car back to my house and take a car back to my house. 始終公司嚟屋企都有二十分鐘就有車程，亦都經過油站，油站亦都有得洗車。咁所以我都係覺得呢個方法係比較理想嘅。咁想講啲咩咧？講到咁遠，就係、是、話其實如果係揸緊租車喺自己手嚟講，有個責任喺度啊！即係如果有陣時唔小心揩花咗、整污糟又好，唉、哎，聽日有客嚟又賺做多嘅功夫。咁或者即係未滿油嘅時候，有陣時。真係唔係誇張咁講啊！朝早起身翻學忙都喺度諗就係話，誒嗰架車好似仲爭兩格喎咁樣樣，有壓力喺度。咁我盡量啦，即、就、係、是、自己，除非係冇人嚟租一段長時間，如果唔係都唔會揸自己嘅租車出去用啊、玩啊、成咁咯。誒、呃，賺自己搞嘅有陣時多功夫會係。咁<笑>。呃、最近都比較冷咗少少，就係、是呃、因為冬天天氣咧就其實比較好嘅。咁以前咧就交車前一定會洗車，咁但係有陣時，即係譬如有啲車去咗做咗盜幕 coating 嗰啲成，咁嘅環境之下咧，有啲客還翻翻嚟又好，或者長期冇人租都好咧，架車都係 keep 住乾淨嘅。咁啊變咗有陣時會係用濕毛巾去到抹、呃。最基本就係玻璃啦，一定要乾淨，跟住透明燈。咁之後呢，就係、是、車身，咁誒呢排冬天 O K 嘅，少落雨
，但係大風咧就係、是、一個死證，因為咧、呃、早晚温差大。咁如果係冇屋頂冇瓦遮頭嘅地方嘅話咧，就會結結露露水。咁跟住如果大風吹嘅話咧，啲灰塵黐曬上去咧，成架車變啡色噶啦。咁啊大鑊噶啦，一定要洗噶啦。咁洗車嚟講咧，就即係除咗誒成個車身之外咧，我哋都要抹埋個車門邊，打開尾箱嗰啲邊。呃、大家嚟租車嘅都會見到係乾淨嘅。咁跟住個油缸蓋裏面咧都係乾淨嘅，因為點解咁講咧？入油嗰下邊個會開心先得㗎？咁你最見到唔乾淨就梗係更加唔開心啦。咁跟住胎拎啦，一定要抹嘅。咁所以咧，之前就我女朋友講過啦，我自己都有諗過就係話，哇！掃把攞去拎咁鬼多條柱，十四條、十六條，抹死人！我四最四隻添喎，真係。有陣時跑車啲比例皮碟嗰啲比較多碳粉㗎嘛。成只啡色，但係一抹嗰下咧，你見到係乾淨靚嘅，同抹之前一比咧，就係即係個滿足感都幾大。其實呢個 OK 嘅。我仲有啲咩咧？難得 Q 行開咗，拍車我又可以爭住個麥去到講嘢。咁係咯，之後就係誒嗰個車嘅 maintenance 嘅管理啦。咁嗱。唔係啊，串咁講，因為都有翻十九架，其實就真係、呃、有開電腦、開快腦 ，keep 寫幾多公里換油嗰啲成嘅。咁但係有陣時連睇嘅時間都少喎，因為即係、就是、忙起上嚟，最低限度工作就係洗乾淨車，跟住插好 ETC 卡，呃、做好嗰、那個誒邊度有花啊，事前做記錄，跟住去機場接客人，嚟到攞車，説明，拜拜咁樣樣。咁事前事後都比較多聯絡嘅工作嘅，譬如聽日啊，你搭呢班航機啊，我 T two 咁過嚟啦，我去機場接你啦，咁樣又有，咁所以都即係一個人做到嘅嘢唔係話太多咯，始終有時即係除咗體力之外，心機嗰條疤都會有用盡嘅一刻嘅，咁我都需要放假嘅，但係而家問題就係放唔到假，咁<笑>放假都真係工作嘅一部分嚟嘅，我真係唔係講笑。唞好精神，但係翻嚟做嗰個效率係好過連續扯幾日，跟住做幾都做唔完嘅。咁最近亦都係有用咗嗰啲嘅 Apps 係請即日嘅 part time， 但係就只係限誒單，即係比較簡單嘅工作，例如洗車咁咯。咁你話即係叫佢機場接客，或者係用電腦就唔係唔得嘅，但係即係能力不及咯，佢哋係。咁同埋言語不通咧，日本人就本身唔係好識日文，所以都。剔嘅比較係請人，亦都唔係即刻有，同埋都要慢慢揀，揀都要揀個啱嘅先幫到手。如果唔係賺一鍋氣啫。咁誒，佢哋今日嚟到宣傳拍片，好老實，即係佢哋，我唔係話咩好定唔好嘅意思啊。嚟到接觸到呢架車，有得玩開心，我亦都樂意提供車俾佢哋去到用，因為即係嚟過好多次啦，信任啦，係即係。又肯入完油洗埋車先返嚟喎，冇話洗嚟喎，真係我哋都好間中先會有啲咁樣嘅客人嘅，當然佢哋唔係客人啦。咁我亦都喺佢哋身上得到嘅就係、是，其實多咗好多唔同國籍嘅客人。我自己英文真係麻麻地，尤其是學完日文之後呢，係特別退步㗎，因為兩套系統真係好唔同。英文或者廣東話就係個主語行先，我想食飯咁樣樣，好直嘅。但日文咧兜嚟兜去嘅，有時講嘢最相重否定啊，成或者甚至敬語咧就講到好遠啊，真係。例如誒、呃，請你俾我揸你架車啦咁樣樣。誒、呃，咁關於語言呢方面咧，其實我覺得誒。呃唔係話淨係單一語言嘅一個技巧或者一件事一樣嘢，其實係你要某程度上熟悉嗰個國家嘅文化或者嗰啲人嘅性格嗰啲成咧，先至學得叻佢哋嘅語言嘅，我覺得係。誒、呃、咁最簡單直接就係多啲同佢接觸啦，最好嘅方法當然嚟到佢哋國家去到生活。你喺香港學嘅叫做外語。你攞出嚟講，人哋會覺得你曬命或者使唔使啊？扮嘢，香港講日文，誒得啦，知你叻啦，係。咁但係你嚟到日本，日本你落街便利店買個飯盒又好，人哋打個電話嚟叫你交電費又好，焗住所有環境都係日文嚟㗎，你學得好快㗎。
。咁亦都冇錯，就係、是、如果你係即係日本有朋友或者女朋友、男朋友都好咧，係最快嘅一套戲，因為就係你生活嘅一部分嚟㗎啦。日文係入侵咗你嘅世界，你唔想去接觸都好啦，你永遠耳邊都係有日文傳入嚟嘅。咁我就今年嚟咗第十一年，初初兩年日本語學校。就冇做 part time， 但係嗰陣時咧就去咗誒、呃、福島東北嗰度做義工。誒唔係話富唔富貴又唔有錢咩，冇關係嘅呢個係。我本身中意揸車，咁但係佢淨係揸車去玩，就淨係得個玩字，有啲即係嘥咗咁嘅感覺。咁東京揸上福島四個鐘頭車，三百公里左右，冬天會落雪。咁我中意動物，但係一個人一個人住一個人生活咧，唔方便養狗啊。即係嗱，坦白講，你養嘅時候。會變咗好似係為咗自己一己私慾去到養佢咯，冇人陪咁樣樣。咁但係當你唔喺度嘅時候，例如你翻學翻工出去做嘢行商場俾大狗嘅，或者翻香港嘅時候，咁其實就要揾地方去到叫做處理佢咯，即係 pet hotel 又好，揾朋友照顧又好啦，即係咁樣樣嘅。所以我就我寧願嗰時揀去誒、呃、做義工照顧啲被遺棄嘅誒、呃、受災動物，都唔養狗咯，係。咁嗰度其實一個 shelter， 一個叫做收容中心都有幾十隻喺度。咁即係同人一樣都係生命嚟嘅、呃。生咗出嚟冇得返轉頭。咁每一日都要照顧佢哋日常起居、飲食啊，幫佢哋清潔嗰個生環境個籠啊，或者帶佢出去散步啊，成咁樣樣。邊只病咗都要車佢哋睇醫生成。咁所以即係其實咁樣玩得嚟叫有意義，同埋又真係接觸日本人一齊做嘢，同 part time 其分別不大。咁唯一就係冇壓力，因為大家。誒佢哋叫誒 volunteer 啦，即係義工啊，人人平等嘅，即係喂誒唔該，你可唔可以幫我手去到做嗰樣嘢啊？咁樣樣係平等嘅，就唔係話即係打工，上司對下屬，喂你搞掂佢。咁識到朋友，誒、呃、當時亦都識過有女朋友都重要嘅呢個係，但係唔詳細講。咁<笑>所以即係我自己咁揀咯，揸得車多又揸個雪地，或者即係誒。呃喺日本嚟講，車係一個日常生活嘅用品嚟。譬如喺福島啊、宮城啊、岩手啊、東北呢地方咧，佢冇車出入唔到，生活唔到嘅。咁變咗咧，有陣時有啲車嘅知識啊，甚至一啲興趣咧，係即係喺日本嚟講好普遍嘅。唔似香港嗰啲，哇女車手哇正啊正，佢好啊要車好啊你啊，冇嘅。即係靚妹又揸 M K， 又揸學生又揸、呃、即係高中生啦，講緊舊年齡嘅時候。咁去到主婦又揸，阿婆阿伯都要揸。誒、呃、嚟咗之後對車個睇法都幾唔同，咁亦都好彩啦，有咁嘅經驗同埋即係過嘅經歷之後咧，就誒、呃、對車認識多咗，興趣都大咗，亦都多咗機會去到揸到車，例如賽車場啦，例如雪地啦，爬山 off road 嘅活動都有啦，甚至即係整壞咗車嘅時候，大概都知道哦，原來呢件嘢壞咗搞到咁嘅原因，就搞到行唔到。誒唔係話香港唔好但係香港地方真係比較細，空間比較少，甚至係即係其實日本嚟講，誒頭先你見我哋背景嘅所有車都係其實合法改裝嚟噶，日本係 O K 嘅，過到車檢嘅。誒、呃、始終日本係汽車大國啦，佢哋有自己嘅生產商，亦都有改裝零件廠，咁所以政府係冇可能一刀切就係改裝犯法、原裝車犯法唔得嘅，咁、那個世界都唔應該係咁嘅，我覺得。呃、有一定空間，而且日本人守規矩嘅情況底下咧，其實係互相尊重玩得好開心。好多 style 嘅玩車，即係我哋主力跑車者，但係唔係淨係得跑車。四區大遊龜爬山嘅又有 ，low 低玩 stance 嘅 VIP 又有，房車拉黑玻璃又有。咁甚至有啲係即係香港嘅多元化嘅地區啦、呃。世界各地嘅車都有。咁但係日本嚟講咧，佢哋日本車以外就叫外車，即係外來嘅車啦。當然係咁入口上貴，就我哋控制翻，即係唔好話打爛日本車嘅範圍先。咁所以佢哋對日誒、呃、對歐洲車、美國車嗰啲嚟講咧，又係覺得好新奇或者係比較崇高嘅一個地位。咁但係冇貶義咁講啊，譬如香港誒、呃、奔馳、寶馬、奧迪、Tesla 其實好普遍嘅，佢哋會覺得哇咁樣嘅係。講個笑話大家聽下，就係、是、即係我以前。同我當時女朋友去澳門，呃、我細個住過喺澳門嘅位，咁親戚揸架揸架 Benz C Class 咁嚟接我哋，誒、呃、舊車嚟嘅啦已經
十零年前㗎啦。咁佢明明手揸住杯 Starbucks 喺度飲緊嘅，佢都 appreciate， 即係啊 Starbucks 聲啊好啊咁食。上車前佢掉落地，我第一。日誒澳門同日本都一樣，其實垃圾唔可以周圍掉嘅。第二點解你要掉啊？都未飲曬，仲要擺罐喺度。佢話：坐人哋 Benz 唔可以咁樣噶嘛。我就同佢講啦，都唔係嬲。我話平時我揸日本車平嘅又有，稍微貴少少都有。你都係照喺度飲飲食食食煙冇問題，我亦都唔介意。點解你會因為呢架係 Benz 而將個杯未飲曬嘅 Starbucks 掉落地咧？咁所以係咯，車嘅嘢其實好廣泛，真係點樣玩或者玩咩車或者咩 style 都有唔同嘅人係存在喺度，日本都會互相尊重。咁特別係 K 卡嘅呢個 class 咯，即係輕自動車，因為日文咧佢叫 K K 誒、呃，即係輕啊。咁讀下讀下好容易變咗 K 卡嘅係。咁係、呃、一個一定嘅規格之內嘅車嚟嘅，誒、呃、長闊高。引擎、馬力、扭力各樣，咁所以都係六百六 CC， 最多都係有推保冇推保，棍波定自動波嘅啫。咁、呃、有限嘅空間裏面用得盡咧，就係、是、將佢變成四方形咁嘅，即係嗰啲好多外國人初初嚟到嗰時候覺得就係話，哇！日本啲車幾搞笑喎，一個四四方方一個盒咁樣揀加個轆，加四個轆，加副引擎殼，佢就係咁樣樣。咁係實用嘅，但係踩落就冇力咯，同埋即係。如果你要揸到去配合路面嘅速度嘅話咧，佢係食油嘅，因為佢係限死咗六百六 CC 嗰度。但係每年個税啊，嗰、那個維持費啊，同埋個車價都係好平。即係如果你對車冇咩要求，你買架全新嘅 K 卡代步嘅啫，裝多下人，車多下行李，百零萬英有嘅啦，十萬蚊港紙以內嘅事。咁但係其實已經係佢哋生活一部分咯，冇車真係搞唔掂嘅。咁所以 K 卡有啲會改。呃、未必一定係性能，可以係即係個舒適度啊、外觀啊、燈飾啊各樣嗰啲成。咁香港可能比較少咯，因為始終香港就一千五百 CC 以下就只低一個 class 嘅啫。K 卡喺香港其實冇咩好處，咁但係就因為少而啲人覺得係特別得意咯。Hustler 嗰類嗰啲咁即係最近比較顏色鮮豔啊、歐多啊 feel 少少嘅，都喺本都賣得嘅，即係。最低限度車得嚟都有少少要求咯，佢哋就係即係個樣靚靚仔仔啊，光鮮少少咁咯，會係。咁我自己就唯一接受嘅 K 卡就係小小傑嘅卡布奇諾。誒、呃，佢係呢個棍波尾碌嘅設計，即係其實係正常一架跑車嘅一個配置嚟嘅，但係佢就喺 K 卡裏面實現到。咁同埋即係個人意見就係覺得架車嗰、那個、呃、前後比例比較靚咯。個型都幾跑車，同埋幾圓，咁誒幾特別個樣，亦都有得開放。咁誒就揸過六架，而家喺日本揸第六架，因為架車始終係即係個物料唔係咁好，比較容易生鏽啊，或者係唔襟，所以遇到一架好嘅咧就會一路喺度換。咁而家揸緊嗰架咧就係 E A 廿一 R 嘅後期嚟嘅，咁副 engine 都 OK 嘅。好副 engine 咧好多 K 卡啊，或者 Jimmy、呃、J B 嗰只都有用嘅。咁都幾神奇，即係同一副 N 轉，但係嗱唔好話即係高性能啦，但係佢叫跑車先啦，咁嘅轉路嚇，即係個定位啊，唔講數字。Jimmy 四驅車都係嗰副 N 轉喎，六百六 CC 嗰種嘢係即係其實好日本嘅好獨特嘅嘢嚟嘅，我我覺得呢樣嘢係幾值得欣賞嘅係，唔係睇結果，唔係睇數字，你又快佢一定唔係，大概千五 CC 咁嘅車嘅性能度咯，但係。幾特別嘅喺日本係，咁我就比較長氣，講住咁多先，睇下 T 號吸幾多出嚟，擺咗喺個外賣啊，交翻俾佢先，佢幫我拍好曬車啦已經，交翻支麥俾你，我講咗十幾分鐘嘢啦，你你翻去慢慢聽下，你中意聽你聽。喂，好啊，哇，十八分鐘得，冇問題。<笑>哎、okay, ，所以说我准备。See you. See you hopefully on the second. 有冇垃圾桶啊，师兄？我帮你啊，你俾我一个，真系。系啊。Sorry. Thank you so much. All right. Second, I think. 要再电联啦，师兄。好，两下之后见。See you. Good night. Bye, 师兄。So we had a very crocking day here at the rental shop. We filmed everything basically we needed. Uh, James is still there. He's also planning to leave. He needed to sort of block off his car so no one 
no one's here to steal it. We get to take home this FK8, but only for uh, the next two to three days because obviously I'm leaving, so is Lewis. And if you want to come to Japan, rent a car, have a proper JDM trip, James is definitely the man to hit up. Links are always in the description. It's just amazing that I sent out that email and it fostered into something absolutely amazing like this. Never something that I would have ever imagined, honestly. Oh. <laughs> What's up, bro? Pretty solid meal, solid car, solid night overall. And again, what do we normally do after dinner? <laughs> yeah, we get some chunk of snacks. We get some. <laughs> we get fat, basically. <laughs> it's, our, it's the last night that we can properly spend, like, without having anything to do. Or, like, today we, is like, yeah. yeah. Today is the last night where where we can sort of spend. Yeah, like yeah, we don't have nothing to do. Like we have actually some things to still still do, but at least these are tasks that we have from our side. Yeah, and not other people. <laughs> Tomorrow we have to go and meet someone down in Tokyo, so we won't be able to have a run in this car or have a midnight. Chunker snack run. Correct. So we're just doing this right now while we still can. <laughs> I was just asking Lewis, you can see, right? <laughs> because when Lewis drives at night, he needs to wear glasses so he can see better. Not that, not that he's blind, but it just helps him see better. Bad. So just then, I was like, you can see, right? <laughs> As if it's a very very stupid question. I'm just borrowing the light from Seven Eleven so that it looks nicer on camera. Those. What chunkers are you looking forward? <laughs> forward to, man? I'm still looking for my creme brulee from last night. <laughs> my creme I'm so, brulee! I'm so disappointed. Yo, that's like the meme. You could have dropped my croissant. You know that? This is a entirely new vlogging angle. Right? Oh, there's one piece. Oh, look at this. There's show, two. show to the community. Show it's to the community. Only, only Japan combini. Fresh. Are you filming? <coughs> Maybe. Are you filming me now getting my chunk as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. So, one important lesson. Whoa, why is it not following me? One important lesson if you want to become a professional chunker in Japan is the super chocolate cake is not at the bakery department at 7 Eleven, it's mostly on the other side somewhere. So, Here's the bakery part. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Chocolate cake. Actually, the banana chocolate muffin we had it last time, no? Yeah, we did. Oh, chocolate. It was pretty dope. Pretty opinion. dope. And what I can also recommend is the, yeah, the classic one, no? The classic, classic cookie. Classic 7-Eleven cookie. Hold pretty it. Slap it. This. Was pretty slapping, also improved by Kyo, but won't have it tonight because I'm too fat. What do you need? Did you check? No, I didn't. Oh, now the moment of truth. Kyo checks if he has his brain relay. It looks bad. Hold on. Nope. Disappointed. <laughs> Disappointed. They have my much ice cream. <clears throat> do you? Where? Oh, yeah, yeah they do. Do you want to get it now or? This is also pretty dope. Yeah, I had this one as well. It's pretty dope. Yeah. If they don't have it, I'll probably get something. Because I can't, I can't risk it to get, to get chunkers on the last day, like last full day I'm here. So what's the plan now? The plan now is we get these first, and then we send it to the next seven, then next Lawson, 
if there's nothing then we go to another seven just to get the matcha and this and then we send it with the car okay okay yeah, so. do you or we can send it to the car somewhere like further away yeah, yeah. and then to see if there are any losses do you want to share this or should we get to it's more like, do you want to share this? <laughs> Tell me a story, bro. So once upon a time, <laughs> shut up, Lewis was king. <laughs> oh, the story of how I met Lewis. Oh, uh, yeah, actually no one knows, right? <clears throat> no one really knows how uh, I sold dark. Also, I mean, like, we know, but... I mean, of your community, no one knows. Yeah. Or did we ever talk? No, no, no. no. Like the first time you appeared was in the day in my life video. So. <laughs> I was drunk. <laughs> were, you, were you? Yeah, of course. <clears throat> I was day drinking. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. What do you mean? The first video, no, you didn't even, technically you didn't appear in my first video. Like you were probably in the background or something. Like that. Ah, so, yeah, yeah, no, I mean like really the first time where we met privately ah, so, was when yeah. I was drunk. Right? Yes, you yeah. were half drunk. I was, yeah, I started being drunk. <laughs> this is the story of how I met your mom. <laughs> what time was it? Maybe like 11 a.m. or 12 a.m. or something? Was it? Was it that early? I don't know. <clears throat> <clears throat> Between 12 and 3 p.m. Okay. I think. Okay. Right? Yeah. This, this, this was the time where we were allowed to, to, to meet. Because this was in the quarantine hotel. When we were arriving in Japan, we and all our exchange students had to quarantine for one week Yep. in the hotel and we had like one or two hours per day where we could meet the other students outside just to get to know each other. And on this day, I actually wrote the GMAT exam, that's like a yeah, kind of important entry test for business schools and I needed, needed GMAT for my master's degree that I <laughs> Luckily got in, in the end of the day. Congrats, congrats. Thanks, thanks. Um, yeah, GMAT is pretty annoying, so if you don't have to do it, I don't recommend it. It's a lot of work. It's pretty disgusting. However, I I wrote the GMAT in the morning in the quarantine hotel with my laptop from Japan. It was pretty sketchy, everything, but yeah. I had a scheduled uh, appointment already like months ago, and then I was in Japan, so yeah. However, I took the test, and then of course I wanted to celebrate a little bit. <laughs> so I started <laughs> drinking with drinking. with Joaquin actually. So I didn't drink alone. Yeah, guys. <laughs> um, Alcoholic! <laughs> and then suddenly he popped out with his camera and was like, What the heck? <laughs> what, what, what is, what is what this he cream? doing? What's this, what's this short Asian boy doing here? So I just came up to him, as German as I am, and straight away asked him what the croc is going on. And then I directly asked some uncomfortable questions. Um, yeah, some uncomfortable questions about Hong Kong and how your life is and everything. <laughs> like, what a being, cringe, what being, a directly, meetup, bro. being directly very personal is kind of my, my vibe. <laughs> and yeah. But I mean, he, like you didn't that. expect that we will become friends, I guess. Yeah, because he thought I was weird. I imagine being friends with. But someone. you probably also thought I was weird. No, 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 no. Because I was just drunk and annoying you. <laughs> hmm? Were you annoying me? I don't know. I think Loki because he wanted to film. Like no, I just wanted to film, and then because no, I expected everyone to be weirded out by me filming. I was. <laughs> but, like, that's why I asked. Yeah, that's why he asked. Yeah, he, like, Lewis was the only person that asked. Lewis was the only person that asked, like, or approached me when, when I was filming. So, <laughs> other people just thought, you know, other people mentally just, the same. Mentally, <laughs> other people oh, were like, what is this guy doing? I need to film everything. Yeah, that's the story. That's I don't know what story. we talked then and how we catched up again. We, I don't remember. Yeah, actually, we don't remember. Like, okay. even I don't remember how we. Even I don't remember how we sort of. Oh, because we had like this exchange group, like the student of exchanges. Oh, sorry, 
the group of students that went on exchange normally we just form like a group within like at first and then it was me Lewis and a couple of other students oh. and then we sort of just kept in contact afterwards like going to the cafeteria have lunch and then we found out that okay we vibe you know what I mean sort of thing even, we though, vibe. even though he thought that I was a weird <laughs> fuck in the beginning but still we vibe you know what I mean because we're both turns out to be absolutely weirdos <laughs> and yeah, weirdos vibe together you know what I mean that's how normally I find friends that's as well true. We find each other weird, we know we vibe, and then we good, you know what I mean? But I also have very close friends that I first really hated. I was like, what a cunt, like, well, what the fuck? But then they were my best but friends. But then they were, uh, yeah. <laughs> because you were probably But for you, I didn't well. hate you, I was just cu curious, actually. Yeah, he thought I was cringe. You because are it was, cringe. Like, honestly, it was he an is, Asian boy. He's an Asian boy. Very, very introverted looking dressed all in black holding a big ass camera setup in still, front of everyone still, still in black still, still holding in a black. camera <laughs> so nothing changed he is nothing weird changed. he actually changed. is weird but no but if you I was weird no I, <laughs> I admit that I'm weird but if it's not because of my camera he wouldn't come up and talk to me and I wouldn't go and I wouldn't respond as well so, I'm just, you will just ignore me <laughs> I see thank you how are you doing too shabby. <laughs> Imagine the first thing not too shabby. <laughs> Kabuchi. <laughs> Convenience store run again with Lewis. Oh, they also have the creme brulee here, bro. Where is it? What is it? Ah, oh, this one. Ah. They finally have it. I have found the meat. So we went for a night drive to the coast just outside Narita. We arrived at a beach with absolutely no one and no lights. It's so creepy guys, holy shit. That's the moon right there. That's the sea. That's and there's a, nothing It's just here. one red alarm oh. light <laughs> blinking. Blinking. I don't, I don't know why. It's a huge ass parking, like there's literally not a single car. Not a single, not a single soul in sight. Complete darkness. We are on a, yeah, as he said, we are Loki on on an island. We are on an island, on just a mini island. The road here was beyond sketchy, and if I will ever be murdered, then it's probably gonna happen in the next twenty minutes because we get outside now. <laughs> and walk we get outside now. Road. Probably five minutes later, our car is gone. Yeah, liver gone. <laughs> liver gone. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Alright. Okay. Because because we're gonna be in complete darkness anyways, I'm not gonna film too much. Cause I wanna see where I'm going and I don't wanna die. <laughs> it's a low key weather. Looks pretty insane with the moon to be honest. But probably on the camera. Yeah, can't. on the camera you can't see anything, but can't if you're grasp. here in person it's always like even with the latest not the latest, but the Google Pixel 7 Pro. <laughs> You probably you can't see anything. So. Do you already have Pixel 8? Yeah, they have. Have you seen it? Nah, bro, it goes too fast. Do you want to go and see it? <laughs> <laughs> I actually quite like it. They have a baby blue or something. Ooh. Color. They actually have it. Okay, let's go for a walk. Too sad. Oh, see? Like, literally nothing. Not even... Not even... Street light or anything. It's just darkness. Yep, it's pretty dark. The vlog's gonna be like this for... A solid five minutes, I guess. 